no cables between the two PC racks. We will download the program to this one first. I even turn off the power on the second one. Back to the computer. Go to communications. Who active? Select the controller 1756L72 Download Download Yes. Go offline. The program was successfully downloaded to the first PC rack. We can see the project name display on the CPU module, IP address display on the Ethernet module, 192.168.0.90, and primary display on the redundancy module. We now can reconnect all the cables from the first PC rack to the second PC rack. We have all three Ethernet modules. One, two, and three go to the same Ethernet switch. And the fiber optic cables run between the two PC racks. Now let's turn the second PC rack on.
The second PUC rack is now synchronized with the first one. Sync display on the redundancy module. The IP address. 192.168.0.91 and the exact same project name display on the CPU module On the primary rack, the IP address is 192.168.0.90. On the secondary rack or sync, the IP address is 192.168.0.91. And the IP address on the IO rack is 192.168.0.92. If I turn off the power on the primary rack, The secondary rack will become the primary. If I turn it on again, this rack will become a secondary or sync Back to computer, let's go online with the primary controller. Everything is green now. Let's go to Arslin Classic to check the status of the redundancy module on the primary rack. Right click, module configuration,
everything is good. You might notice on the redundancy modules. One light is solid green, the other one is just intermittent green. The same thing here. But it is completely normal. Thank you for watching.